up to a certain point, I was very proud to say that any screen test I had gone to up to that point, I had gotten. So in my mind, I had a great track record. Um, landing every screenplay, making tons of auditions. So now they come up with this Knight Rider series. The script was very serious. The original pilot was very serious. And I thought of myself as a very serious actor. So I auditioned, and I got to go in for a screen test. Uh, and they narrowed it down to four people. It was Don Johnson. I don't know if you know who that is. But good actor. I think he's a very good actor. And this guy called Michael, or uh, David Hasselhoff, who was kind of a nobody. I think he came from a soap opera. Is that right? And this other guy, and I don't think he amounted much anything. He's a big kind of a lunky guy. But there was down to four of us. We were in the screen test at Universal. And we're sitting there in the dressing room waiting and waiting. And uh, they took Don Johnson first, and it, these are hours. You're waiting hours, like waiting and waiting. They're lighting the set and everything, and we're far removed. We're across the lot from the uh, soundstage. So finally, I, it was my turn. They got me in a golf cart, wheeled me over to the soundstage, and, and Don Johnson wasn't finished with the screen test yet. And like I said, I really, I hope he's not here, I really think he's a good actor, but he wasn't doing too good. I thought he was kind of sucking in the screen test. So I got to watch him, and I'm going, wow, I said, I can do better than that. I'm going to kick ass on this one. So it was my turn. I did the screen test. I did it very serious, very dramatic. Went home, and I was just feeling so, 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 so confident to do the, the lead, Michael Knight. The, I would have been Michael Knight. And we went days, I think weeks, and they turned all four of us down, including Hasselhoff. Not, four of us, all of us, did not get the part for no particular reason. And then it went on, they said they were still looking for the right guy. And then I need help with the, who was it? The Glenn Larson, who, who was on the plane with Hasselhoff? Brandon Tartikoff. Tartikoff. He was the head of NBC, was on the plane with uh, Hasselhoff and saw him and sat down and talked to him and thought he was a nice guy. And he said, I thought I'd give him a chance to do the lead. So, I mean, and then a TV guy came out months later saying they were really looking, their first choice was a guy who did it very serious. And I still say that TV guy, which I can't help but assume it was me. I knew Don Johnson was not good. <laughs> and I didn't think the big monkey football guy. So I there but for the grace of God might have been Michael Knight. Yes. Adding to that, do you remember anything about the audition, what scene you did, anything like that? What what the set was like? You mean the original for that? Yeah. Yeah, when you did the audition. They, they was mucked out really nice. I mean, it's huge, big sound stage, like I said, and they had the car. I think the car was on a gimbal, and I think they had back screen, green screen type effect, if I recall, and the car was moving on this gimbal on the floor a little bit, and, and we did three scenes, and I cannot remember, obviously, they were driving scenes, but other than that, I can't remember what they were exactly, but, but like I said, it took a while. You know, each and we were like there, you know, at least two two hours apiece. So they were going for it. Mm -hmm. So we remember, Joe and I remember speaking with a gentleman by the name of Steve Whiteside, who is actually uh, a prop guy on, on Night Rider. And one of the stories he likes to tell is that he was, among many other things, the guy who handed out the com link for one of the screen tests for whoever the Michael Knight would be. <laughs> and it was a prop. I am just wondering if you have any recollection whatsoever of being handed a com link to talk into it as part of the screen test. I'm sure we would have had to, because I recall that in the original script, wasn't it? Yeah, but sure. I didn't steal it. Is that what you're accusing me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. That would but be an accusation. We want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it would have to be, because it was talking like this. But I also recall, and you guys probably know better than me, but the original story had it where he was he was more communicating in the head because it didn't have the whole brain surgery, the whole thing, because the Michael Knight character got destroyed and they rebuilt him, the human, for he had all the wiring in there to communicate with the car. So, that never made it into the show, of course. Right, but that was the original screenplay, and that's why I took it as such a deadly, you know, badass series versus, you know, they... they Obviously, it got to be a little lighter than you know what I read, but 
So I, maybe if I'd done a little lighter with a sense of humor, I might have got it. <laughs> Well, here's the reality of that. And had you done that, you probably wouldn't be here with us today because, you know. That's right. Hasselhoff would be doing so, the John Stanton character. It, it, it so <laughs> and I'd be singing in Germany. I did every inch of that driving. I jumped a car. I <laughs> That's how you told me at breakfast. <laughs> no, they asked me that. No, it was Jack Gill, who might be here, I guess. But uh, I drove the car in Seal Beach in the scenes, you know, with a bikini girl coming up to the window. That, that, that was a good, uh, so I drove it there, and I drove a little bit on Pacific Coast Highway when I first found him, when it first started talking to me. I got in and drove it there. Uh, but coming out of the beach, you know, driving it out of the hole uh, in the beach when I first dug it up, I didn't drive it, obviously, but a little bit, I think, at the tail end just to get it close on me, I think. Um, Jack Gill drove it up the beach to get it off, you know, to go on the highway. Um, and that may be just about all. And then, of course, I drove it to, to, to rob the bank, you know, that was no big deal, just drive up. But anything that's even remotely fast, not me. Do you still own the shorts? Or do you have some short stay <laughs> <laughs> We didn't put them on the floor. <laughs> I, as I said, I have a 31-year-old daughter, and she says, were, the, were those your gay days? <laughs> uh, for all you people that are a lot younger, if you watch the NBA, the shorts were that short, they had... Socks that high, and that was the style back then. And so it's like the shorter and the tighter the shorts, the better. And so it was no big deal back in the 80s, but it just doesn't carry over in time, obviously. <laughs> 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 and, uh, I was alive in those days, and yes, and that was the style. <laughs> and then, of course, if you had that outfit and a mustache, you were in the porno business. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I watched that, and they were really tight. And, Thank God I was in decent shape, but it's it it it. We we toyed with the idea of making you one of those uh, bare metal shirts for the show. No, you did. Where's Mark? Except that's not cut off. Where's my scissors? We gotta cut yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Wait a minute. That's kind of flat. There you go. Now you want to put this on? No, I, I already have one. No, do you want to put it on? And he's wearing it at some point. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah, cut. That's going to roll. And that's going to hurt the off button. There you go. It's all button. Adapt. Woohoo! Put it off. Mr. D's Marina. Thank you, Mr. D. You're welcome. Mr. D. And Ed, what's Mr. D's last name? Uh, Dexter. This was like this. That's another thing, because that was the thing to cut it off. You got your midriff showing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder if I do that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. D, what's your last name? Dexter. 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 Get up here now. Should I call him up here? Yeah. 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 Woo. Perfect. Perfect. Because yeah. 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 I've bored enough people. Any more questions? Yeah, yeah. I got one. You can be a tree. You can be any kind of a tree. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's our old tree. Here, we should see you get a few pictures. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a stair. That's a brand name. Who are these guys? All right, now, we should, let's do this, and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There you go. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, gotcha. As long as you're on 
address and I want to do some of that too. Where's the music? Since he's the owner. Be like this, you know, do where we were. The past. We have gone back in time.